towards the character? Do you not? <laughs> Do you start? Okay, well, I don't really like Lucian because I think he cares a lot about um, aesthetics. He cares a lot about aesthetics and uh, what people think about him, and he's not really uh, compassionate or sympathetic, and his only like desire and motivation to do things is like, money instead of uh, actually wanting to help the Jews. So I don't think he's like a really, 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 really sympathetic character. I think it's like weird because he's like doing the right thing, like I think the Jews, but it's for the wrong reason. It's for like a bar for money. Yeah, right? And I feel like that's such a waste because like he was just doing it for the right reason. Like he's already doing the right thing. Like this is for the right reason. Like he could be such a good kid. And he's not even using the money for a good reason. He's not using it to pay back Adele. But no, not Adele. Uh, his wife, Celeste. Celeste. For like she she gave him his her trust fund. And she like gave so much to the yeah. couple and everything. And you can see he's like falling down his spiral because like he used up like a lot of money and I was like I don't know. And now he's like he kept, he's stuck in the cycle where he uses it and now he has to go back to Monet to get more sketchy dog. To get, go to Monet to get some more Monet. Yeah, yeah. Force that one out, didn't it? So do you guys like Lucy? I think personally that his character lends well to the story because Lucy is like the only one that's really like that kind of character. Like he's like the only one that's really like that kind of character. Like he's the only one that's really like that kind of character. Like he's the only one that's really like that kind of character. Like he's the only one that's really like that kind of character. Like he's the only one that's really like that kind of character. Like he's the only one that's really like that kind of character. Like he's the only one that's really like that kind of character. Anyone who tried to be uh, even been sick in a way has ended up in a really bad position or in most cases dead. So this character is really, it really goes hand in hand with how people actually felt back in the day when the Nazis That's true. Like, even though I don't like him, like, I think I should probably put myself in his shoes because I probably do the same thing. Like, if I, if I don't know anything, like, in that moment, people will see Jews differently. Yeah, he's a he's a really realistic character. He's kind of like an anti-hero if you think about it, because yeah. as he's developing this, and even though yes, he's doing it for money and money basically so he can keep affording his life with his mistress, you can see no like part of him like his, his own moral belief system of hating the Germans and the Nazis. Like it's his own kind of form of rebellion. And even though he has denounced the French resistance specifically early on in the book. He's still doing his part to fight to fight them, even though it's something you know not exactly direct, as in blowing up you know communication lines. And he's also uh, one of the more relatable characters, I think, because most of us would be very selfish and not put our lives in danger for people we don't know. So I find him relatable in that way. And also, he's the typical male character with Adele and Celeste, and always wanting more. Say all all men are cheaters, bro. The male, like the uh, thing that comes from males is that they're cheaters. And <laughs> that's not typical. Yeah. Maybe stereotypical. Yeah. That's stere- That's what I mean. He's a very stereotypical male character of never being satisfied with the woman he's in his life. I don't think it's a stereotype. I think it is. All right, cool. Like Should we talk about like feminism? Like <laughs> I think there's no emphasis on like his lack of compassion now because it's like foreshadowing. He's gonna have like an epiphany kind of, and like I just don't understand his motivation for being so many women and like being treated by like the male one between bed or something. Betty, because she's hot, maybe. But like he just wants to live how the other like the other half would. Well, he's an artist, so you know he's like Alice like, said, aesthetic. really into aesthetic, exactly. So he sees someone even prettier, he can not try to like talk to her. I guess it's maybe a different time. I mean, maybe he I still think cares. No, they're talking about divorce, isn't it? Like, people do get divorced. Like, I don't think it's the right time for him to get divorced. Right. Right. Yeah, it's not really yeah, on the line. Yeah, but then why does he lie to her? Why does he, like, not tell the truth? He doesn't lie to her. Yeah, there's been no evidence of him directly saying. Omitting is a sin. Omitting is a lie. She kind of knows that what they have or had is gone. Yeah, she's not going to make up with like a water. Yeah, she's not going to make up with a water. Yeah, she's not going to make up with a water. Yeah, she's not going to make up with a water. Yeah, she's not going to make up with a water. Yeah, she's not going to make up with a water. A lot of blood evaporating, so she kind of knows, so it's kind of mutual. Yeah. So I guess it's not that bad in a way, because it's not like they're deceiving each other. They know that they're like fucking. Well, but she like, might be cheating. Like being, yeah, with the tutor. Yeah, with the tutor. Well, that I'm not sure of yet, but I do okay. think that that was. I think cheating. That's like a parallelism. Parallelism. Stereotypical female character. Yeah, true. Okay, here's stereotypes. 
<laughs> well, it's like everybody in the story is kind of like not exactly settling down. Like, 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 like you see, you see Lucien cheating on his wife with Adele, and he says to himself, like she'd be the girl that I married, but he never did marry her, and she herself has guys on the side that he doesn't really know about, like the, the German officer. So it's interesting how both sides of the gender, you know, are, like are playing. Adele. You like Adele? I like Adele. I think she's Strong and independent woman. Strong and independent black woman. Don't need <laughs> no man. Yeah. I think she's a really interesting character. I don't know. I just, I like her a lot. What do you find interesting about her? She's so, like, well, I don't even know. Like, I can't come up with the word. But. Like, she's the exact opposite of Celeste. Yeah. And that's what I like. But that again, I, I think like Celeste, her. I think Celeste is a little, though. I think Celeste is a little Adele in there because she's coming <laughs> out of her shell. Yeah. I, I think something's going to happen with that one. I think Celeste has morals. I think Adele is more also. Yeah, but more tough up. No, Adele's no. like, oh, like, I like the, the Nazis. Yeah, like like the Nazis. Yeah, but I mean, but she's she's not, focused on aesthetic. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing that I really like about it, is that she's like so... Which yeah. I was shocked that fashion is such a big deal right now during the war. Like, what do people focus on, like, food and stuff like that? Oh, it's like a statement of, you can't haunt us. Oh, like, that's like, look at, it's the whole France. Yeah. Look, look, look at our, yeah, like, one you, on thank French. you, bro. Like, they surrendered with literally no problem once the Nazis came in historically, you know, through Belgium and Netherlands, but against their own way of fighting. Like, it's Lucien's own way of fighting by hiding the Jews and stuff. And it's a Belgian fighting by continuing the fashion Exactly. Even though her fashion does incorporate, if she wants to incorporate all that Nazi stuff, like the bad one. She, like, really likes the... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think your connections with those type of people is going to be, is going to be the factor that, like, the next yeah. Lucian like, puts him in a bad spot because she's going to be, like, messing around with one of these guys and then they're going to find out about what Lucian is doing somehow and they're going to look into him and then that's how they're going to... I feel like Herzog is going to be the one who's there. Herzog's so interesting himself, yeah. Now that Lucian feels like he's telling anything and it's just... Well, when they went to the dinner, Lucien, he did get drunk, but he still had internal feelings of, like, you know, like, fuck this Nazi bastard. But, like, he was kissing ass, too, but at the same time, he knew that even though they do share similar interests, like, they both like architecture, they both know, like, German history, Lucien still sees him as the enemy. Like, sure, they can work together, he can get the profit, but at the end of the day, he knows that Herzog is not his friend. I think that he made him seem like such a good... Before, I'm not saying <laughs> made like all of the Nazis like seem like such like real people. And well, they are real people. I know, but yeah. it's just so yeah, hard for me. It would be like a scene. It would be like a part where it'd be like, oh, like he, like kills this guy, and then next part, like oh, like I like architecture, like you just killed somebody. Like, it's hard for me. Well, not Herzog to, like, himself never. Okay, but like you well, know that's what part of the like, story. Like, yeah, that's that's like how one person was making plans, and then he's like. Went back to torturing the person. Yeah. Like, yeah. See you tonight. Yeah. You know, it's, part of the, it's part of the Nazi culture. It's so hard to yeah. oh, they, got, like, culture. they got like brainwashed basically into thinking that they were doing, like in their eyes, they weren't really doing anything wrong. So that's part of how they were like pretty much. Yeah, like you don't imagine a Nazi like, to have like a family. Right. Should we say something to see if you're listening? <laughs> I think that's enough to see if you're listening. Wait, I was trying to find Right, so, um, Shapiro, if you're listening, wink to Oscar on Tuesday when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> I think she talked about like the oh, interweaving oh, plot. Oh, 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 of course, when he shook his hand. Yes, was, of course. That was so like very good love like, story. That was like inspirational. <laughs> I was like, you go, like you. The tone of the book is like. Escalating rather quickly as the war continues on, and as the Nazis start becoming more aware of the American power from the Philippines, because they're being referenced to the Americans and how they're in all of them. Yeah, so they're scared. I depends how long the book takes. Yeah, they made it in '44. So. <laughs> I don't. I think it'll end before that because by that time. I think it's going to focus more on like the relationship between people. Right. Yeah. 1943. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, um. I think. Overall, we like the book, I believe. Yep, yeah, uh, yeah. It's definitely more than anything else we've read because it's actually interesting. Hold on, that's your own opinion. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, all the other ones were interesting, but this 
one was like. If you want film, you have about us. This one's like a movie, you know. Well, everything, like, yeah. everything else was like philosophy and thinking. Uh -huh. This one's like, just entertaining. It was so it's good. Like, uh, this one has like a complex plot. Exactly. Like, like, Interweaving complex tales. It's like John Connor. Like, like, how does she know what? Complex characters. Complex characters. Okay. All right. Bye, Shabiro. Uh.